What's going on everybody? Appreciate y'all tuning the channel here at 323 Fabrication. As you can see behind me, we got the Rotson out. We're fitting to throw this truck frame on our car trailer. I got some pipe stands. I'm gonna put it up on there, pull the wheels off of it. Got a guy, uh, found a local fella, young guy, uh, that works where I work and um, he's gonna blast it for us. We're gonna go over there and check that out, give him a hand, hopefully Saturday and uh, but we're going to go ahead and prep for it, get it out of the way, get it up on the trailer, because we don't really need the trailer right now. And then gonna move some stuff around. But hope y'all looking forward to it. I've never, we've got a blast cabinet, some small pot blasters, and we do little parts and stuff. But never seen a big, something big done with a, a big equipment. So that I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be cool. But let's get this thing loaded. strap it real good don't worry wheels are coming off of it uh, and somebody pointed out the other day these are the, the shape of these is different makes them rare i don't know i thought they were the same but 15 by 7 15 by eight and a half but anyway we're gonna pull the wheels off it'll be strapped good but this is how we're taking it to him and i'm gonna help him do it which made it a little bit cheaper but this way it's easy to get to you know hopefully makes it easier to get to i don't know the, the pipe stands are as short as they get like they ain't gonna get no shorter but i mean where it's at i don't i've never blasted with a big one but i guess you could walk around the trailer and be able to kind of get to all of it without having to get down and we tried to put the pipe stands you know it can get to all this but we'll just have to wire wheel where it, it's on the front axle the rear axle's coming out of the chassis so it's not even getting blasted the biggest thing back here is going to be the leaf springs you know in the mount uh and just do what he can and we'll wire wheel the rest of it and of course you know once we get it back we're gonna see notch it let's make y'all a little bit better angle here we're gonna see notch it cut a section out of the frame right in here nine and a quarter i believe is what it is and we're talking about maybe i've been doing some looking online and people are talking about pulling leaves and it lowers it and lower leaves and this that and the other but I'm thinking about just flipping the axle to the top and C-notch in the front just a little bit. But got to do some more studying on it. But once we get it back, it'll definitely be easier to work on. It'll be clean. We'll put it inside so it doesn't rust. But you look at that. Look how good them brakes are not sticking. So there you go. Y'all, we're at the shop today. Got the day off work, thankfully. Big shout out to Dustin. Now this is Heisen Mobile Media. And they're out of Andalusia, Alabama. They're blasting the chassis for the 57 pickup old blue we're building. And uh, I'm going to throw it on a time lapse, let y'all check it out. But uh, we'll get some more footage of it. It's going to be awesome get this thing primed and be able to finally make some more progress on it. Uh, still working on the 55 Buick, but I thought this was pretty cool. Y'all want to check it out.
chassis is blasted, but check this out. This axle's bent. Look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, you guys will be on the internet. Yeah, yeah. On that that same uh, thing well, on the sticker. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up and see when we get out. I'm already subscribed. Oh man, I appreciate it. Well, the chassis is done. May get done loading up. We're going to flip it back over. We'll put it back in the shop. Looks really good. Get some primer on it. But, uh, guys, if y'all need any blasting done and you're in the southeast area, we are in South Alabama. But call Dustin at Heisen Mobile Media Blasting. There's his phone number and his information. And they do all kinds of stuff from water tanks to equipment. There you go, this thing looks real good. I had to get some primer on it so it don't rust, but it looks awesome. And I'll show you, we got one spot that I'm gonna have to do some welding where it rotted through right there. But this is the rear end of the frame. And so this back here would have had mud and stuff all thrown up in there from the rear wheels. But it looks real good. The only downside is the fact that the front axle's bent. But you can see it's high spots right here. There's a difference from that side. And then over there, it's bent pretty good. But uh, Nostalgia Sids, if I do end up getting the axle dropped, they can straighten the axle out. So I think we'll do that eventually. Probably won't do it to start with. But pretty awesome. All right. Flip the chassis over, got it off the trailer, set it on the ground, and I got this contraption rigged up here. Don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try to take the chassis in the shop kind of like it is. Hopefully, we can set it on the rollers. We don't wanna leave this outside because it'll rust overnight. Now we can start working on it.
days now. Got it in the shop, got it back on the stands, make it easier to work on so it's a little higher off the ground. I'd say top of the chassis is probably three foot from the ground, so it's definitely going to make it easier to work on. The leaves are all coming apart. Obviously, they got to be uh, cleaned, and then I'm going to do Teflon sliders between them and less leaves on all four corners, front axles coming off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next video, tear the suspension apart. We'll start painting the chassis but i wanted y'all to get to see it get blasted i thought that was super cool and i want to shout out to uh dustin he did a fantastic job those guys do really good work and i showed y'all his card so if you need anything blasted give him a holler good people and uh i really appreciate them coming out and knocking this out for us i was supposed to take the chassis to him they're based out of andalusia alabama but he had another job over here this way, so he just waited and came by and did this on his way to the other job. And that job's going to be a few days, so he wanted to get this done first. And I really appreciate him coming and knocking this out. This is going to be so much better once we can get it painted. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really cool. I enjoyed seeing it. Like we, you know, we got a small blast cabinet, small pots, and we have done some small scale blasting, but I mean, they do water towers, bulldozers, really whatever you want blasted and painted, they can do it. Um, so guys, if you're in the Southeast, give them a holler. They do good work, which I, I think he travels, you know, if it's, you know, if the job's big enough and all that, I think they'll travel. I know he said he's done some blasting in Texas and stuff like that. But super good guy, um, good crew he's got, knocked this thing out. So that being said, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Be blessed.